Welcome guys, uh, it's shortly after Christmas. I know I'm a bit too late for a good Christmas present, but I've got asked this question a lot and I want to answer it now for end of 2019. And the question is, which iPad should I use to edit video in LumaFusion? And this question is actually not so easy to answer. It as always depends on how much you want to spend and actually this comparison between iPad models is pretty good for LumaFusion and except the iPad mini all of those iPads are good to edit in LumaFusion. Actually this basic version iPad has almost a as powerful chip as my iPad Pro but of course storage, uh, screen, audio is not as good as the iPad Pro. But I don't have the new iPad Pro, I have the older 10.5 inch iPad Pro, but this doesn't matter. So if you want to buy a iPad new and you don't want to spend that much money, the iPad normal iPad with um, 128 gig storage is your choice because it has Apple Pencil support, it has a good amount of storage, not perfect but it's good enough to create 4K uh, edits and uh, to store them on the iPad and of course you can use a lot of uh, lightning accessories with it. The only negative point is the screen, it's not as good as the iPad Air or iPad Pro screen but it's very good compared to other tablets. So this is your choice, it will be around, let's choose it, so I'm going to show you which configuration you need to buy. Choose your color, 128GB and it will be 429 for the Wi-Fi and 559 for the cellular version. Let's go to the iPad Air. This is the newest iPad model. Um, it has a very fast chip, so it's about twice as fast as my iPad and this is also uh, really fast, so it's more than enough from speed-wise. Uh, it has a pretty good 10.5 inch screen. Um, it has enough storage actually the same amount of storage as my iPad Pro. I also have the 265 gig version. It supports the Apple Pencil, it supports smart keyboards and is, as I would say, the all-rounder iPad because it's not as expensive as the iPad Pro, which is a couple of hundred bucks more expensive, but it saves money on the specs you won't need. So. It hasn't got this pretty unique camera, it, it doesn't have a full-size screen, but it's alright, so I'm using this one for over two years now. I would always recommend using Wi-Fi only, because if you need cellular, just connect your phone. This is what I would buy at the point of the video, so late 2019. And then, of course, we have the iPad Pro. And this is of course pretty much a very expensive version of the iPad Air with some stylish stuff, of course, the new Apple Pencil and so on. And it has USB Type-C instead of Lightning. But it's also like 500 bucks more expensive, which is a lot. And it doesn't have a audio port so you're not able to use a headphone uh, which is connected via the headphone jack of your iPad because this one doesn't have a headphone jack which is in my opinion not very pro but you know so if you have a lot of money and Bluetooth headphones and you want always the hippest tech buy this one in this configuration and you'll be happy. I don't think that you need the 12.9 inch version um, because 11 inch is more than big enough. But again, my recommendation is the iPad Air. 
let's go to the page of the iPad Air. So again, it has a headphone check right here. It has a touch ID. Um, it has a good screen. It looks good. It, there are uh, plenty of accessories out there you can buy for Lightning and the iPad. So this would be my choice. Really, if you want to buy a, an iPad, either choose this one or uh, buy a second-hand iPad. These are pretty affordable right now, so just uh, should search through eBay or something like that, and I'm pretty sure you will find the iPad you need. So I wish you a happy new year, and we will see each other in 2020. Till then, see ya. Thank you.